Welcome back to Distinctive Insurance Weekly. I'm your host, Alexa Kay, and this week we will be going over the results of a 2015 Annual Employer Health Survey and see what we can learn from it. In 2015, the Kaiser Family Foundation and the Health Research and Educational Trust conducted their annual survey to examine employer-sponsored health benefits. Approximately 57% of employers offered health benefits to some of their employees, and 63% of workers at those companies elected coverage. Only 47% of businesses that have 3 to 9 employees offered health coverage, while almost all employers with 1,000 or more employees offered coverage to at least some employees. The average annual premium for employer-sponsored health insurance was $6,251 for a single person and $17,545 for a family in 2015, making a 4% increase from 2014. Covered employees contributed 18% for a single and 29% for a family of the premiums. Preferred Provider Organization Plan, or the PPO plan, enrollment remained the most popular with 52% of covered workers enrolling, a slight decline from 2014. High deductible health plans continue to grow in popularity with 24% of employees choosing this type of plan, including a 4% increase from 2014. Of the remaining covered workers, 14% were enrolled in a health maintenance organization, or HMO, 10% in a point of service, or POS plan, and 1% in an indemnity plan. POS plans remained more popular at small firms than at larger firms, showing 19% at smaller firms versus 6% at larger ones. In 2015, 81% of large employers and 49% of small employers used wellness programs. To motivate employees, 38% of large firms and 58% of small firms offered a monetary incentive for completing or participating in wellness programs. While not quite as popular as wellness programs, disease management programs also gained traction in 2015. 68% of large employers and 32% of small businesses had disease management programs in 2015. In general, employer-sponsored health benefits in 2015 remain consistent with years prior. Whether this stability will continue remains to be seen. Market forces such as rising speciality drug prices, narrowing networks, and the Cadillac tax implementation in 2020 could force employers to adjust their plan offerings and possibly increased cost sharing for employees. Well, that's all we have this week, but thank you so much for sticking with us, and we hope you tune in next week for another Distinctive Insurance Weekly. See you next time. If you liked our video, don't forget to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you need a quote for any of your insurance needs, please visit our website at www.distinctive.net. See you next time.